is a toaster. Your pots and your pans, your wooden spoons, fork, your knife, spoons, teaspoons, all of that adapter. You're going to use this to boil water for your tea. For your home training pack that pack that and welcome to my channel where we're about growth and good energy if it's your first time here welcome if it's not your first time here and you are a returning subscriber welcome back my sunshine thanks for coming let's get to it so keeping in line with the theme of preparing for university i'm going to be showing you guys some of the things that i feel like are uni room essentials whether you're on campus or you're off campus I'm not going to lie i really wanted to make this into two separate videos but i realized that there's going to be a lot of repetition and there's just going to be a lot of admin that I just plain do not have time for. So I'll find a way to indicate whether something works for both off campus and on campus. Yeah? Yeah. One of the most important things that you need is an electric kettle. You're going to use this to boil water for your tea, for your noodles, for bathing because at use it, there's no hot water. It doesn't happen it's it's not going to happen you are never going to get hot water so unless you're like soldier type vibes and you can bath with cold water great good for you i am not a soldier no an electric kettle goes a really long way and you don't even need a fancy one yeah just just get a kettle please you will thank yourself okay get a kettle possibly the second most important thing an iron yeah just for ironing your clothes but i will admit i didn't iron my clothes as much last semester let me tell you something let me tell you something <laughs> right the thing is in winter you wear a lot of hoodies so who's really going to check if your t-shirt is ironed and it's good practice to iron your clothes it's, it's a very good thing to do but a lot of the times during the semester i just did not have the time but having an iron is great because sometimes you're going to want to go out and you're going to care whether your t-shirt has creases and stuff like that so get an iron something else you're going to need is some coat hangers at uz the rooms do have closets like very small closets but it's still closet space where i stay off campus there isn't closet space but there's like a rail for like i don't know what kind of pipe that is and i, I just put my coats my hoodies all of those things on the on the coat hangers so get yourself a couple of coat hangers you're going to need pegs because you're going to do your laundry yeah get yourself pegs pegs are ridiculously cheap especially in china shops i think i saw some of them going for like 50 cents the thing is china shops really are your plug because lots of people on campus with businesses go to china shops and they sell you guys things sell us because i'm also a victim sell us things for like triple the price i've seen it with my own eyes i've seen it with my own eyes so if you can visit a channel shop, you can get yourself a set of hangers, you can get yourself some pigs, all of those things. Yeah, so you're going to need pigs. Something else that I discovered for the first time at UZ was, I don't have it, but you know, an element. I'll get a picture, an element. You know those electric buckets for heating water? You can get that if you want as well. I had that when I was on campus and it was super helpful because what I would do is before going to bed, I just fill up my bucket and then when I woke up, just turn it on and my water would boil. Great, especially when there's water cuts because you can wake up and there's no water. But what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the element. I'm talking very, very fast. That element, it's sold by its one. And some people buy that and then they don't have to buy like the electric bucket or a kettle. They just pop that into a bucket of water by a socket and they boil it i'm not going to lie it doesn't look too safe but if you want to get that you can that also works and those are available at china shops for like a dollar don't say i never put you guys on don't say i never put you guys on another essential is buckets i'm obviously not going to show you a bucket because everyone knows what a bucket looks like on campus off campus very very important and i do recommend getting more than one bucket it makes washing your clothes easier and when there's water cuts you can just always have a bucket that has water so that you know that push comes to shove 
you can take a bath in the morning. Whether it's a hot bath or a cold bath, you're taking a bath. Because I keep saying water cuts because it's a very real thing on campus. I've had experience both with off campus and on campus, so you know, you can trust your girl. Where I stay off campus, there's a bowl, so we always have water. But on campus, the situation has been getting really bad. Water cuts are daily, but I, from what I've heard, they're for longer periods now, so you go a long time without water. On that note, also get yourself a couple of 5 litre bottles. What you can do is when you arrive, you just buy a 5 litre or two of water, you drink that water, and then you always have the bottles because you just always need somewhere to put water because this is Zim. Yeah. So get more than one bucket. Even if you're staying off campus, I genuinely do recommend getting more than one bucket. And if you can, you can get a spare bucket that has a lid that's for drinking water only so you're not going to mix that with your bathing water that would be very weird to do that bucket you just know that this is for drinking water and something else that you're really going to need is cleaning materials when you check into your room it's probably going to be really dirty even if it's not i don't think you want to just arrive and just start spreading your bed and putting your things onto like the shelves and stuff you're obviously going to want to do some thorough cleaning so some handy andy some sunlight some vim some scouring like scouring devices but those metal things what are they called they have a name i i don't know what they're called but all of those things some mutton cloth just so that you always have things to keep your space clean so definitely get some cleaning materials before you leave you could buy when you get there, I don't know, it's all up to you. You could take from your mother's cupboard, whatever works for you, honestly, do that. One of the most important things I'm telling you is a good adapter. Please get yourself a good adapter. Lots of laptop chargers are round plugs like mine, so you're really going to need an adapter because the chances of finding a round plug, um, use it plugs are square. I don't know about everywhere else in Zimbabwe, but Zimbabwe in general is a very square plug country. So you're going to need a good adapter. And I say good because those China shop ones will blow. Especially with an iron. Ah, uh, they can't compete. Ah, uh, they can't com they can't compete. I blew so many adapters, you guys. So many adapters. And I kept buying like these cheap dollar, two dollar adapters. But in the end, I was just losing money. And the best thing is just to buy a quality adapter had her for a long time she's friendly with my iron does well with my charger love this adapter also if you can get like that long cubicle that long rectangular type adapter that one is great as well especially if it's got a surge protector yeah now we're talking a long adapter with a surge protector might cost you a bit of money but i'm telling you if you take care of it well you won't have to buy another one so definitely look into getting that you're obviously going to need some cutlery, your fork, your knife, spoons, teaspoons, all of that jazz. On campus and off campus, you need your, your utensils. Pro tip if you're staying off campus, mark your things. What you can do is just mark your spoons with like nail polish and stuff like that because I'm not going to lie to you, things get lost. And I'm a very particular person, I'm not going to lie to you. I like to know where my things are. And it is just it reduces stress when you have your things clearly marked because if someone I don't like to use the word steal but if someone did maliciously try to take this away from you they'd feel shy because it's literally marked it's yours so mark your things okay mark your things if you're staying on campus I don't see the need to mark your things but off campus definitely mark your things you're also going to need a water bottle but I think you already know that especially seeing that we're going into Summer is going to be a lot hotter and just, yeah, you need your water bottle so you can stay hydrated, homie. You're also going to need your pots and your pans, your wooden spoons, your, all of those things. I use it if you're staying on campus, you're, there's nowhere to cook. Cooking is not allowed, you can't cook. But I know some places in Zim, I think at G's at U, they are on campus accommodation, you can cook. But yeah, it's going to largely depend. But if you're staying off campus, of course, you're going to have to cook. Unless you're staying somewhere where they cook food. But still, go with your pots, go with your pans. Lots of my things are in Harare. So these are not the exact things that I use. Yeah, lots of my things have stayed behind in Harare. Because it just doesn't make sense for me to be up and down with pots and pans. But you need pots and pans. Okay. Maybe two. I'd say two is a safe number to, to carry. Because while you're 
cooking something you can be cooking something here and like yeah it, it just makes sense two or more yeah something else that is super important to pack especially if you're staying on campus it's something that's easy to forget but you're going to need it to spice up your meals i'm talking about your seasoning your condiments your tomato sauce your mayonnaise your black pepper your aromat some people like aromat i don't really but some people do if you're that person salt because best believe food at the ducks has no flavor I've, I've never tasted food so flavorless like my friend said that it has improved and they use stuff like rosemary and thyme now okay ducks if you're really doing that great but when i was there first semester uh it, it just tastes like it's very bland and i think it's very intentional so that they can cater to different people because if they're gonna be out here like whipping up pots and putting raja curry some people can't stand curry so I think it's very intentional i'm not saying it's okay but i think it's a very intentional thing so your seasoning things to spice up your food and obviously if you're staying off campus you'll have that but for the on campus guys i know you might forget about that but it's very important it'll it'll improve your experience by a lot you're also going to need a couple of lunch boxes i do a lot of meal prepping i've mentioned it a lot on this channel and just having lunch boxes really helps me i think i've got i've got two really ugly lunch boxes i'm telling you when i bought these lunch boxes i was like these are the ugliest lunch boxes i've ever seen in my life but they get the job done so i've got those two small ones I've got the pink lunch box i've got the blue lunch box and the green lunch box so i've got five lunch boxes and it just makes my life easier because say I, I have leftovers i just pop them into the lunch box put them in the freezer or the fridge and it just makes your life easy get yourself a bunch of lunch boxes but if you're staying on campus maybe you, you need just one just to make your noodles and all of that and your cerevita yeah just one will do i think we've covered a lot of the essentials now so now the things that i'm going to get into are a bit more on the optional side i think something to really remember when you're packing is take what will make your life easier take the things that will make wherever you're going whether that's on campus or off campus also bearing in mind the issue of space what will make you feel more at home? So these are some of the things that I would take if I were me. Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. I didn't take this with me last semester, but I'm definitely going to be taking her with me. Exercise mat. Exercise mat, homie. I've really been taking my fitness a lot more seriously for the past like two months. And having an exercise mat, I realized when I got home, it makes me feel more serious about working out. So I'm definitely going to be taking my exercise mat with me. I'm also going to be taking my ring light. I left her behind because I was shy. I used the use it organized transport and I was feeling really shy. Like what will people say if they see me carrying a box? Because I have a whole box. Let me show you. My ring light stays in an entire box. And I was really shy, like, oh, what do people say? And I struggled. I struggled to make content. But I will be taking my ring light with me. I, I really don't care. The channel is my, so my ring light as well. And also, table and chair. I remember when we were looking for somewhere to stay, my dad was like, is there a table and chair? And I was like, yeah. That's literally the only reason why I chose the room that I stay in now, the table and the chair. The table and the chair is so essential for me. Like... If I move houses and there's no table and chair, I'm taking a table and chair. And I don't mean like an office type desk, just like a simple table and chair because yeah, I, I like to work upright. It makes me feel more productive. So personally for me, that works. This goes without saying, but all of your favorite snacks, your favorite books, pictures of family. If you're that kind of person, just take what will make wherever you're going feel more like home. So. Yeah, if it fits and it makes you feel more like you're at home, I don't see why you should leave it behind. But also do go through like the rules and stuff. You can't, I use it, I know you can't have a microwave in your room. You can't have like a one plate stove. You can't have a gas tank. So yeah, go through the rules and the regulations. But some things are common sense now. Some things genuinely are common sense. So yeah, the most important thing. Chienza said this when she did the collaboration with Ibs years ago. Love that video. The most important thing to carry with you is your dignity and your home training. Please, you were raised well. And if you are not raised well, there are certain values that whoever raised you instilled in you that are important and they instilled in you those things for a reason. Don't let go of them because now you're at uni. 
if at home the culture is we open the tap and if there's no water we close the tap because if we go out and water is back the room will be flooded do the same thing if wherever you're staying on campus off campus there's no water close the tap if you were taught to flush the toilet because even if there's no water you get a bucket fill it up and you flush do the same thing if you were trained to greet elders don't now start acting bad and bougie to like the the cleaners and the janitors because now you're at uni no greet them so your dignity and your home training dignity i don't think that if you're staying on campus and this dude is like hey your wifey material please watch for me mm, for me those are not the vibes if, if it works for you fine but for me no don't let like the pressure of going outside and like being away from home and wanting to be like a wifey material like a husband material don't let that make you do things that you normally wouldn't do i've never stayed in an off-campus accommodation where it's mixed but i know that those type of like small family husband wife setups do happen if it's not your vibe don't feel pressured so dignity and your home training pack that pack that yeah you guys um we come to the end of the video i really hope that i was in focus if i was not i'm going to cry because i have done a lot of talking let's just go through the points and make sure i've covered everything you could also get a carpet a floor rug that could make your room look nicer if you want but it's really not necessary um laundry basket you could get a laundry basket because putting dirty clothes into a suitcase not really the vibes but there's also the element of state of space oh yeah i almost forgot if you're staying off campus you might need just like a bit of storage space somewhere to put easy access groceries if you don't know what easy access is it means you haven't watched my grocery haul go and watch that go and watch that you understand what i'm talking about but somewhere for easy access it could be a box it could be yeah there's somewhere for easy access it's not a must but it helps but yeah you guys i hope that you found this video helpful if you're moving to university let me know what kind of content i can make to make your transition into uni helpful if if you're a current university student and you're on campus off campus and there's something that i left out that makes your life easier comment down below let me know okay see you in the next one push in between me and the person that i once was